What is up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm going to give you an honest review of the Fuego Box White Lightning Chocolate Challenge Bar. I did it on stream. I did two of these bad boys. I was challenged by my buddy Ronnie to do the challenge. And there's some good things. There's some bad things. Not bad things, but let down things. So let's walk down the list of box and packaging, presentation, taste, spice level. There's three real three real big things that I'm gonna to touch on here. First, packaging and branding. The package looks great. Fantastic branding, really done well done with the marketing. It's for the Feeding America charity. So you see the 50 meals donated per box. Feeding America is on the inside. Again, fantastic amounts of branding. Packaged well, it's kind of got the, you're opening up a jewel case. And here's that, this white box with the bright red packaging, small little diamond there that you're getting into or jewel centerpiece. So great contrast, great branding all around the box. That's awesome. Get into how it's composed. There's supposed to be a 12 Reaper blend or a 12 pepper, they call it their 12 pepper insanity blend. Composed of the chocolate Reaperuga, the razor, the chocolate Bolta, the Chocolate Liberano, Seven Pot Douglas Brown, X Reaper, the Chocolate Butt X Reaper, the Fluorescent Mustard Scorpion, the Pepper Y, the Pepper Zalator, the Chocolate Bolta X Chocolate Reaper, Caramel Scotch Bonnet UFO, and Caramel Reaperaga. So, Scotch Bonnets, lots of Reapers, Scorpion Peppers. Solid composition. When I looked at when I looked at it, I thought it was going to blow to blow my socks off. We'll we'll cover that in the the spice level. Now taste. I gotta say, I'm impressed from a taste perspective. the The white chocolate is rich. It's creamy. It's sweet but not overly sweet like I find some white chocolate to be. And it actually works really well with peppers. So from a taste perspective, I enjoyed it. Reaper peppers especially, are, they have a bit of a floral note to them. I actually enjoy the taste of Carolina Reapers. I'm a big fan of Carolina Reaper based hot sauces. And I think the taste profile is really good. So I enjoy, I actually enjoyed the taste of the chocolate bar. It wasn't torturous for me. It was actually an enjoyable experience as far as the taste goes. I would like to hear to get those peppers to come out a little bit more forward in the taste, especially more when you bite into it, but that's difficult in the white chocolate bar. But I do want more of those oils to get more of that heat. Now, moving into heat, the most important part of this this is clearly marketed for people that are not necessarily spicy food nuts. I'm a spicy food guy. Nut. I love spicy food. I own several Carolina Reaper based hot sauces that I use pretty frequently. I'm a big chili cook off fan and Indian food fan. So I love spicy food and I'm familiar with, with what it's with what I'm going to get out of it how it's going to hit and how to combat it. I do think the white, I think the white chocolate helps tame some of that nastiness in the heat because easiest way to tame heat is with fat and white chocolate, that creaminess has that fat in there, which helps. And so same with the taste profile of the, the white chocolate, but for a heat factor, you really get it when you actually bite into bite into it you chew it you get some of those you get some of the oils coming out 
Personally, I find most of the heat comes when it hits the back of the palate. When it gets into the throat and rolls down and starts to get into your chest, then you get a little bit of that constriction that happens when you get exposed to a large amount of capsaicin. And I did it about an hour ago as I shoot this video. So I still have a little bit of chest tightness, but that's about it. The the heat was strong. The heat was good, but it wasn't mind blowing. Like I, I I barely started to sweat. I got a little bit of the sinus clearing. My nose ran. My nose got a little runny. Mouth got hot, but it's not the hottest thing I've. It's not even close to the hottest thing I've eaten. I've had. Bombay style Indian curries and biryanis that are much, much, much hotter than this. And I've had other chips and stuff like that that are hotter. Now that could have been because they were just loaded more with capsaicin as opposed to the actual pepper. And I guess they could easily dose it up by, by just loading it up with capsaicin, which of course wouldn't taste as good. So from a heat perspective, if you're not a spicy food fan, it's going to kick your butt. It's going to burn in the back of your throat. But for people that are used to spicy food and enjoy spicy food, I don't think it's going to be as big of an issue. What I would personally like to see is a way to get more of, more of a well-rounded profile of, of the heat like I want I want it throughout the experience I want the heat when it hits my tongue and when I bite into it I get more of those oils leaking out to really get it in to cover my mouth and to not just be on the back end I want it to hit me and go oh my goodness because a lot of people react to when the immediate hit on the front of the tongue and and as they start working through the progression of the experience just getting it on the back end isn't, I don't feel like it's as, it's as big of an impact. So I ate two of them back to back with no editing, no consumption of milk or fluids or any, or anything else. You can witness it in the links in my description. You can witness it in the link in the description for the, for the live stream. And I might just break it down into a smaller segment as well. But if I can do that, then other people can. So the spice level needs to go up. They need to go up. And I think they need to try to make it a more well-rounded experience. I was dared to let it just melt. But then by not chewing it and not getting those oils to open up, you don't get more of that heat. So it's honestly less intense do I think that it was worth 20 bucks a bar from a perspective of contributing to the the organization yes for going to feed America I would say I'm happy that Meals get donated. That's awesome. Feed America is a great cause. From a a product perspective, would I be willing to do this again and drop twenty bucks each on small chocolate bars? No, no, I don't think it's worth the cash for that. If I can get couple of bottles of amazing hot sauce for the price of one of these. So from that perspective, from the, oh my goodness, it's supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to blow my, blow, blow my mind. It's supposed to be nuts. From that perspective, it's not worth my, it's not worth the cash personally. If it's going to be a novelty and it's going to be this amazing, really tough thing to do, I want it to be amazing and really tough and really and really beat me up. It really make really make me work for it. 
I want to feel like I like I'm struggling and I need to have a drink afterwards. Not I shouldn't be able to knock out two of them without having to have a drink or without really wanting to, without even really feeling like I need to. So end of the day, it's a cool thing, but I want to see more. I want more of it. I I want to feel like it, like I'm getting my money's worth by attempting something like this and doing it for charity, doing it to help encourage other people to pay it forward to feeding America. So if I had to rate it out of 10 for the, for the, the experience of giving it to, of doing, doing something for, for an organization that I, that I enjoy, I'd give it a 10 for the actual product itself. And the, I'd probably give it a six or a seven. I've had better white chocolate and I've had better spicier chocolate for, for a, uh, an overall product based on price point, I'd maybe give it a four. I just, I don't think a bar that small is worth 20 bucks. It's, okay, I can do a lot with $20. So, hopefully, Fuego Box will up their game and come up with a better, with a, with, things to really kick it up a notch and make it worth it. I want to be blown away when I do something like this. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the honesty of it all. And hope it's informative. Hope if you do decide to take the challenge and take a look at this and go, Oh, maybe, maybe I should or shouldn't. If you're not a spy, if you're not a fan of spicy food, it's going to kick your, it's going to be, be really intense. I, it's going to bite the person that's not good with spicy food. That is going to be intense and it's going to be incredibly hot. And if you do do it, make sure you have either buttermilk or heavy cream or a can of whipped cream on hand to put out the fire. Because the easiest way to combat that nasty spicy heat is with fat. And whipped cream or heavy cream or buttermilk will coat your tongue. And whipped cream is probably the easiest to consume. A lot of a lot of us like whipped cream, so that's easier to consume, and it'll coat your tongue and help put that flame out a little bit. But also, be prepared for that heat in your chest. It's going to take the longest thing to go away. Thanks, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. As always, I want to thank my law enforcement, military, veterans, and first responders, which you guys do every day. I thank everybody else for being here and checking out my opinions on this. As always, you have been awesome. I have been Bald Man. Be excellent to each other and keep headbanging.